Before starting this video, I would like to apologize for the poor quality of the sound. I completely forgot to plug in the mic before starting recording. Sorry for that. Hi everyone and welcome to this new Curvy Splines video. Uh, I often get a question regarding controllers and I will be answering this question in this video for everyone. And also I will explain or remind some uh, related concepts. So, concepts. so um, the thing, let me show you first with this cube that has a spline controller. Its uh, position and movement mode are set to rel relative. So one here means that it will go, uh, it will traverse full length of a spline in one second. So as a reminder, a position when it's set to relative mode, a position of zero is the uh, beginning of the spline and one is the end of the spline. Okay, so let's hit play and let's see what's happened, what happens. So as you can see, the first half of the spline is traversed in like a relatively slow speed and then the second half, it's going really fast there. The reason why we have this behavior is that the spline is stretched in the second half. Let me show you. Uh, but before showing you, like if you just want an answer about how to avoid that and you don't care about the explanation, the answer is just use, uh, sorry, in movements here, use absolute. So my spline is around 30 meters length. So if I put 30 meters per second, uh, I should have my cube going through the spline in one second with a speed that is uh, constant along uh, the whole spline. But if you are interested also by the explanation, which you should be, uh, let me show you why this happens. So this spline is a busy spline. Uh, as you can see, the handles of the second control point are way longer compared to the the ones of the first control point so that means that the spline is really stretched here and not here but to really understand what that means let me show you with this spline so same thing basic spline but uh, you know those one are stretched but not really too much compared to the first one i created this spline to be able to uh, show you this which, which is a GIF animation from the Wikipedia page of the basis plans. Uh, okay, it was in French, forgot to switch it to English. Uh, and uh, so here you can see that we have relatively the same thing, the two control points and the two handles here and here. And here we, ha we have a value called in this uh, article uh, or in this page called time. Uh, and this value uh, is basically um, the parameter you are inputting to the equation, mathematical equation of the basis plan to get a specific point. So why, uh, by going from zero to one and solving all the, the equation for all those values, you get the drawing of all the whole spline. And here you can see that in the beginning, the point goes relatively slow compared to the speed uh, at which it, uh, it goes at the end. If uh, you are using this value, which is called here time, but in curvy splines, it's called uh, F for fragment. And here we are speaking only about uh, a segment. But if we are speaking about the whole spline with different uh, segments, uh, like this, for example, uh, then we are speaking in curvy splines about TF, total fragment. This is explained in the documentation and also in uh, the tutorial called splines. I will put links to everything uh, somewhere in the description, comment, or uh, at the corner of the screen. So please keep in mind those differences between uh, distance in meters and the TF value. Uh, you can see in the inspector of control points, you can see here the TF for every control point. So in this case, we have one every 0.25 and you have also beneath it the, t uh, the distance. And as you can see, 
while moving this control point the tf never changes because that's like the half of the spline uh, you are just stretching one half one half over the other but when we are speaking in terms of distance then yes indeed that changes so yeah in plus of um, uh, those difference having uh, an impact on controllers when switching between absolute and relative modes it has also an impact on a lot of api methods for example, curvy spline dot uh, interpolate, which takes as an input a TF, but interpolate by distance takes a distance as an input. That's it. I hope that helped.